Welcome everybody, we're in downtown Portland. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where we are, I'll let you guess, here's your quiz. What university is the largest in Oregon? Which university graduated the most students last year? Well, it's the same school, it's Portland State University and that's where we are today. Please welcome President of Portland State University, Vim Vivel. Thank you very much for being with us. Do a lot of people look at you and go, what, what do you mean largest university in Oregon? We have University of Oregon, Oregon State. People still are in disbelief? Sure, people are still finding out about us in many ways, which is just fascinating because we've been here since 1946 and getting bigger every year. I think for the last 15 years, we've added more students every single year. But people can be forgiven too because we grew by about 50% in just the last 10 years, from 18,000 to 29,000, now close to 30,000. So, you know, it takes a while for people to catch up to reality. Now, you came over here, not to Oregon per se, but to the United States from the Netherlands as an exchange student in high school. What kind of impact did that have on your life? Well, first of all, it's a long time ago now. It is in 1968-69. I spent the year as a senior at Woodlands High School in Hartsdale, New York, suburban New York. Which, and of course, it had a huge impact. It uh, shaped my field of study. I uh, took sociology there in the high school, and that became my major. And I wound up coming back after first doing my university studies in the Netherlands. I wound up coming back to the United States and, of course, raising my family here and uh, being just absolutely thrilled with the opportunity to be in this country and in this wonderful city, even though my Mother and siblings are all back all in back Amsterdam. There. You have uh, on this campus 50 buildings, 49 acres. This is a brand new building. This is the Academic and Student Recreation Center. In this economy and with budget cuts, how do you keep expanding? Well, we keep expanding because we're here to serve the educational needs of Oregonians and particularly of people in the Portland metropolitan area, and they keep coming. Uh, I think everybody knows that to compete in today's global knowledge economy, it really helps to have a degree. So as long as the students keep coming, we will uh, add buildings to accommodate them, to have the classrooms, the offices, the laboratories, and so on. Now, I know this is, Portland State has long been known as a commuter school but you're building a new um, a dormitory yes. or residence, right? Residence now. hall, yeah. Yeah, we no longer call it dormitories, you know, it's called the residence <laughs> hall now. It's sure pretty much the same age. thing. Um, yes, we, we now already have 2,000 beds on campus, and this new building that we're building at uh, 5th and 6th Avenue there by the College Street uh, will add another 1,000 beds, so it will be an increase of 50%. And frankly, once that's filled, it'll be open in the fall of 2012, we will start looking right away at uh, whether we could justify another building because students just want to come here. Some of them want the traditional campus experience of living on campus. And we're also attracting more and more out-of-state students, and for them it matters. Not only out-of-state, but out-of-country, in fact. Uh, you have more Saudi students here than any other school. What attracts them to this campus? We have some very large groups. Uh, Saudi students are right now the largest group. In fact, we have more Saudi students than any university in the United States does. Uh, Chinese students are our second largest group. I think next year they will probably be the largest. And then Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese. I think they come to Portland because it's known as a very safe city. Uh, it's a city that is internationally known for its focus on sustainability. And uh, Portland State University is located right in the heart of the city, so it's easy to live here. You can live either on campus or close to campus. You don't need to have a car. You can get to campus very easily. It's an attractive place. And quite an economic effect on the region, too. Yes, uh, our budget now is close to half a billion dollars as a university, but our total economic impact on the region is almost a billion and a half dollars because of our payroll, what we purchase, and we bring in a lot of money from the federal government, both in the form of student uh, grants and loans, but also research dollars. We are on the fifth floor over Urban Plaza, is that right? The Urban Plaza, yes, okay. where our urban uh, planning program and public administration have been on the other side of the plaza. This building just opened up uh, last year. It has the Student Recreation Center in it. Right. It has retail on the ground floor classrooms, uh, and the city archives, very right. interestingly. Vim, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.